G'day my friends, how you going? It's Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden. Now today what I'm talking about are avocado trees, the backyard ones. Basically they're dwarf trees that you can grow in your backyard and they don't go too massive and just take up the whole system like a huge avocado rainforest tree will do. So what they do these guys is they produce a smaller root ball and they graft it on, so two branches on the older tree which is already fruiting and it's got the cell memory to produce fruit and then the younger seedling tree underneath that doesn't get a massive big root ball on it and what that does is it keeps the tree shorter. Now this one will probably grow to about three meters, it might even grow to four meters but generally I think around it between eight to nine feet uh, in that standard and you can keep cutting them back as long as you cut back above the graft and it will throw out new buds and then it will throw out more fruit. So if Karen comes in closer with the camera here you can see how glossy and beautiful uh, these leaves are. Now it started to flower up and what happened was is because it was struggling after the, the winter um, it dropped the flowers and decided that it wanted to photosynthesize more and produce more leaves which I'm really happy about because by next season when it does flower this thing is just going to be so loaded. Now I'm just going to hope that no hailstorms come along like last time and give it a bit of a hammering but so how do you take care of the avocados? Well if Karen comes down with a camera this guy is growing in sand, it's basically pure sand here. If we come down with the camera just a little bit to my finger there, you can see that there's really not much life and body in this type of soil. So what I've done is I've produced a lot, a lot of compost on top and wood chip mulch and worm castings and rock minerals and things like that to get it growing and growing on because most of the roots that feed on this plant well, all the roots actually that feed the plant are surface roots, such as in the rainforest. And these nice big wide leaves that are like this, and they capture as much light as they can and photosynthesize. And the red in the leaves is like a natural sunscreen to help the plant from not sunburning. Now, the best way to grow the fruits is to allow the fruit to grow underneath the leaves. Now, it hasn't got any fruit yet, so we're not ready to show you that. But they would sit under the leaves and then they would not get any type of sunburn. So just to go over it again and uh, capture what we spoke about, basically we need to have a good friable soil. Now if they're growing in clay and things like that, they're going to get phytophthora and it's going to kill them unfortunately. But they will grow really well in deep soils that drain really well. They will grow really well in sandy soils if you feed them heavily and keep them well watered. And after about one to two years of buying a grafted tree, two years preferably onwards, you're going to start getting fruit if you take care of it. And as we know, fresh avocados are probably the way to go. All right, I'm Marty Ware from Marty's Garden. If you want to keep learning more about growing fresh food fast in urban places and small spaces, please subscribe to my show and we'll see you at the next video real soon. And if you get a chance, click on the link that's provided and have a look at my website. I've got some cool products in there for growing food organically in small spaces. Have a great day. Happy gardening. And we'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye for now.